we're going to look at the features of the ukulele by Indigenous. If you have any of our recent stringed instrument libraries, you'll recognize the interface, which is designed to help you create realistic ukulele tracks quickly. To begin with, there are two playing modes, solo and strum. Let's start with solo mode. Here we have the key velocity grid. The symbols here represent different articulations, and this graph in the center allows you to set key velocity switch points. For instance, right now we're set for hammer-ons in the high key velocity range, and mutes in the low. Any key velocity between these arrows is normal sustains. You can just drag the arrows to change the switch points. You can even cover the whole range with one articulation. Or you could just turn them off completely. All of these can be accessed by key switches as well, which override the velocity settings. So I can mix and match. I could use velocity for hammer-ons and key switches for other things. By the way, the hammer-ons and pull-offs will play short slides at lower velocities. Many of these are tempo synced, and if you hit the More Settings button, you can set the note values for hammer-ons and trills. There's also a mixer here for adjusting the volume of each articulation. The Master Key knob comes into play here as well, since the intervals used in things like hammer-ons, trills, and harmony are based on the key you choose. Okay, you've heard the hammer-ons and pull-offs. We also have up trills, down trills, up slides, tremolo, You can control the tremolo speed here. You can also choose to sync the tremolo to a note value using this slider. We can add harmony using velocity. You can also trigger harmony with a key switch or just latch it on with this button. Or you can change the harmony style. There's an auto vibrato, just in case you run out of hands to control things. Or you can add vibrato with the mod wheel. The pitch wheel works normally as well. Here you can choose some effects presets and edit them. Okay, let's look at strum mode. To hear a strumming pattern, just play a note in the octave starting with C1. There are single down strums in the next octave, and up strums in this octave. If the latch button is on, the pattern will continue to play until you play a down or an up strum to stop it. There are 10 slots for strum patterns, and you can change these with key switches. You can select different patterns for each slot from the master pattern bank. You can edit the patterns or create your own. Also, you can just play your own live strumming pattern with the down and up strums. This gives you total freedom for adding accents. Now, what about the chords? Again, if you're one of our customers, this should look familiar. There are two ways to play chords here, our one-finger chord triggering system, which is great if you are not confident in your keyboard skills, or our chord recognition feature, where you just play your own chords. Let's start with our one-finger triggering system. 
If you want a C chord, you just play a single C note in one of the playing octaves. If I want C minor, I can choose it from this menu. And now I get a C minor whenever I play a C note. The same goes for every other scale note. You can do this with key switches as well. If I'm using a C major, but I need it to change to a C minor 7th, I hit a C in this octave, then the appropriate key switch here, which in this case is a E flat. That way, I can get any chord I need at any point in a sequence. The fretboard allows you to customize the chords themselves. You can turn any string on or off, and you can drag your virtual fingers to any note on the string. With the fretboard, you can create any chord you can imagine. If you don't like your new chord, just hit the Reset Chord button. On a ukulele, the G string, the one on the left on our fretboard display, is usually tuned high. However, many players use a heavier gauge string tuned an octave lower, which is our default setting. These buttons let you choose between a low or a high G string. This button turns on our chord recognition feature. Now, if you play in octaves 4 and 5, the ukulele will translate your chords into ukulele chords. The trick with changing chords while a pattern is playing is to play the new chord just slightly ahead of the next change. This is because the script must determine what chord you're playing, then trigger the next step in the pattern, and then play the chord in real time. Also, it works best if you lift your fingers off the keys between chords. It's a feel thing, but it just takes a few moments to get it. You can also arpeggiate the chords. Well, that's a quick look at the ukulele from Indigenous. Thanks for watching.